The Philip Shea Memorial Day started with the book launch of My Disappearing Uncle, a moving family history written by Kathy Anderson. The book launch was moderated by IASC historians Monica Matai and Attila Polk. In the book, the author traces back the steps of her ancestors and specifically the life story of her uncle. And in this long family saga, a chapter features the city of Kosek as well. Fantastic, rich heritage. But it's not the heritage we know from the history books. And it's not the heritage you know from documentary films. It's the stuff that's kind of floating in the air. And for me, that was very important. The children from all religions founded an institution for poor to suffer Jews, Catholics, and Protestants alike, imperial police, other charities. He founded the Jewish cemetery here in memory of his father Moses, and then Zsinagógát, he said, and Zsinagógát again. Musician and composer Zoltán Mizei read passages from the book and accompanied the narration with music. A hole in time. During the book discussion, Henderson happily talked about her future plans, which include the publication of her work in German and in Hungarian as well. I'm sure there are more stories to be told, and Ferenc Mislivez has the key to a lot of them, I know. Uh, I've tried to be discreet in covering events here in Kosek because they're not my events. But I would love it to be published in Hungarian. I have asked the publishers to make contacts if they can, and I have been suggested a couple of publishers. But this is not, this depends on the publishers, um, foreign salespeople making an arrangement. I would love it to be published in Hungarian, it would be great. After the book lunch, the guests walked over to the town hall and stopped by the musical fountain where they could enjoy an impromptu concert. Béla Basti, mayor of Kőszeg, gave the guests special insights into the history of the town, and afterwards they could enjoy a selection of local flavors and wines. Before the First World War, there was a street named after Philip Shea, patron of the Kőszeg synagogue, which later was renamed after the famous Croatian-Hungarian nobleman, army general and politician Miklós Zrinyi. On this May 2nd occasion, however, Philip Shea Street regained its original name. In what followed, the guests were invited to the recently refurbished synagogue to enjoy a concert by the Budapest Festival Orchestra. On the Memorial Day, many were pondering about what type of cultural events could be hosted by the small and unique synagogue in the future. Actor and director István Verebes said, the synagogue could be a great home for small concerts and exhibitions or, alternatively, for readings. He said that the intimate space is perfect for events where writers and actors do readings of both well-known and lesser-known literary pieces, which then are followed by informal Q&As and discussions. So the events will continue. And from now on, the Institute and the town plans to organize the Philip Shea Memorial Day annually. <laughs>